Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can display a live news sticker on your screen. So maybe you want to use a television screen at the reception desk of your company and you want to display some messages. So here's the dummy text. The problem with this is that we have two lines in this text box. So we need for the new sticker, we need one line of text. So we go to format shape, text options, this button, and we uncheck the wrap text and shape option. Perfect. So now we have one line of text. Let's make this visually better. Using that's the one I want to use. White text, make it a bit bigger, like so. That's fine, that's looking fine, yes. Okay, so now we have to zoom out from the slide. So that's the text, and basically we want to finally put it there. So now we are going to add some animation because we need a fly in animation animation fly in default is not correct uh, so we change this from the right there it goes you see it let me zoom in a bit and we run the animation and and here's a hint um, you have this star here at the number at the slide just click on there and you see it you see the animation. You see, of course, that it's it's going too fast. And so we need to change this. And first of all, we switch from on-click to a automatic animation. Duration, we can put to 10 seconds, for example, and that should be already better. So let me play this here. There it is. Looking nice. That's what we want. So that's the CNN type new sticker. Let me have a look full screen. Okay, that's what I want, but it's too fast. So I'm selecting here animation pane. Um, let's try 20 seconds. That's better, but still a little bit too fast. So let's try 25. That's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. Let's see how it displays the full text here. So that's nice. That's a long text. Almost off the screen. There it is. Perfect. That's what we need. And maybe we want to repeat this continuously. So we have to go into the options here, the timing options here. Um, then the repeat option we can set to until end of slide. So when we would go to the next slide, then the um, new sticker will stop. Okay, so this is one option. Problem is, if you want to make this dynamic, so now you have to edit the text box and maybe you have a short message. And now when you run this, there's a short message, but we are still using that 25 seconds of animation. So that's way too long. So always when you have an update on the text, you will have to check and update the animation speed. Also, the text is static. 
So whenever you have a new message for the audience, you will have to update the text box. There is a more elegant way. Let me show you. I'm deleting this text box here. And okay, it's commercial, but we have at presentation point, we have a thicker point plugin for PowerPoint that you can use to display dynamic new stickers. So for this, we have to go because a new sticker is always best to run on the slideshow. So it's running over your slideshow, over old slides of your slideshow. That is a huge advantage compared to the normal animation that you have on one slide, because now you can bring the full story of your presentation or slideshow. You can switch to the next slide automatically and so on. But the new sticker will always run on top of the slideshow independently of whatever slide is in the back. Okay, so we have to go to the slide master here. We have to position ourselves here at the top slide. And here we are going to insert a new text box. Okay, now go to ticker point. I have to select the text box and I can put in a text. That's one. I can change the font and the font size like so. We can make it white. It's almost invisible here. Um, that should be fine for ticker point. We have speed setting, etc. So let me just close the slide master. And then we run the slideshow. Here is a text coming in from ticker point. Okay, let's make it now dynamic. So we go back to view slide master. The first slide, we select a text box. We go to ticker point. And now I have a RSS feed that I can use. I can maybe connect to a text file or an Excel file or databases and so on. I want to use a RSS newsfeed. And this is a RSS newsfeed. So try to find the RSS feed of your favorite newspaper and copy the URL. I'm copying this here. There we go. Back in PowerPoint, we paste the news feed and we click next. What do you want to display? Of course, the title of the news. We don't want to apply a news filter. And that's it. So this information is now coming from the RSS feed of our favorite newspaper. Slide master. Close master view, and now we have this. And when I run this now, we will see this. So it's a little bit slow. Let me change this. So view slide master, first slide. We select the text box. Ticker point speed seven, for example. Slide master. Close view. And we run it again. So this is how you use ticker point of presentation point. It's a commercial plugin for PowerPoint. So you can try it out with a trial. We have a 15 day trial and play with it. So 
whenever there is a new news article published on the newspaper site, we will see this information updated in our ticker here on the screen. So we can have a continuously updating presentation or information screen. Find out more at presentationpoint.com.